Hi everyone, I'm going to try to answer a hard question today. Should you go into information technology if you want to be a software developer? So let me get past one thing first. There are two information technology degrees. In fact, if you go on Wikipedia, you're going to see the Bachelors of Arts first. So that is not the one that you want to do if you want to be a software developer. That's more of a management degree. The one that you want to do, perhaps, is the Bachelors of Science. So when you're looking at a school, make sure that you know which one they are actually offering. And I don't think there are many schools that actually offer both. Um, so beyond that, should you do it or should you go computer science? I think that's what a lot of people here are wondering. And the answer is it's not that clear. I'll start with this, that there are companies out there that will only hire computer science majors as developers. That's just the plain and simple of it. But I don't know how many companies are really that way. I just know that there are some that are. I always felt when I was applying that there were some you know, companies that just looked over me because I was an information technology major, but I can't actually be sure of that. So there are two different ways to go. And if I'm being honest, if all you know is you want to be a software developer, but you just want to go through, learn the basics of programming and be able to get a job out of school, computer science might be the better way for you to go if you can stomach the math. Now, if you're more looking to go in and figure out what you want to do and already be ready to specialize in it, information technology might be a better role. Now, I'm working as a software developer. I have an information technology degree and it worked out for me. That doesn't mean it'll work out for you. But I also knew pe people who were actually going to software development with an information technology degree and they weren't even doing IT related development. You know, they were just doing straight software released to the customer doesn't really have anything to do with an IT system development. So it can definitely be done and it's been done by a lot of people. But I do uh, work with information technology type systems, but I also write programs. And I mean real full programs. That's because within workplaces and even outside, programs have to deal with you know networks and databases quite a bit. In fact, if you're writing a program and it's not dealing with a network, and it's not dealing with a database, what is it doing? That's one thing I have to ask. So those skills that you learn in information technology can be helpful, but because the degree is not as well known, you may need to make sure you actually learn those concepts so that you can put them on your resume and do some kind of personal project so you can actually show that you can do those things. In my job, it's important that I know things about networking and know things about databases, even if I'm mostly just writing code because if I don't, when I go to interface with those things, I'm going to fall flat on my face. And nobody wants that to happen, hopefully. So it is difficult because you have to kind of know what your goal is. And you have to know how motivated you are. If you're going to go in and you're just expecting, I will take all these classes and sit back, knock all this stuff down, and I'll get the degree, and I just want a job. Well, computer science, while it is the better option for that attitude, Unfortunately, that attitude these days doesn't really get you that far. These days, you really do have to put the skills on your resume. Now, as far as the degree that will allow you to put the skills on your resume more easily, I say that would be information technology. Because I will say this, you do like calculus one, calculus two in computer science, but putting calculus as a skill isn't going to work out on your resume. Now, putting, you know, MySQL database that is something that you can put on your resume. So the information technology degree kind of makes up for the fact that it's not as well known by actually handing you those skills. Now that means you actually do have to apply yourself in those classes and you have to have some confidence too. Because if you take the class and you walk out thinking, well, I managed to pass the test, but I definitely don't want to tell somebody that I know how to work on a database. So that's a trap that you can fall into just walking out of the degree and thinking that you can't really do it. That's the thing that personal projects are good for is that you can prove to yourself that you can because you did it, here it is, it's sitting in front of you. And it boosts your confidence in saying, I know how to work on a MySQL database because look, I made a login system. Look, I made a place I can upload images in it. Obviously I know how to work on it a little bit, right? And when you're doing that, realize they know that you're new. So that is my answer. There is no clear yes or no is, you know, should you do it? I will say there are certain specializations that an information technology degree would be better that if you're going to work for an IT department as a developer, then yeah, IT is probably better. Although computer science will work too. It is a little bit more about the skills you have versus the specific degree you have, especially if you're dealing with 
a uh, tech degree, right? So I hope this answered your question and I hope you have a good night.